Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode here. We have, um, I'm going to sit here and try and, trying to get more money, but for some reason it's not working. So anyway, um, this is a little bit of a, sp obviously it's sped up. So, um, I spent a little bit of time just kind of, um, building a house. So this is just, I'm kind of messing with the pre-built stuff at first here. Um, I didn't really, sh so you can actually make the rooms bigger or taller with the little um, cell phone reception looking icon <laughs> and um, so yeah that's one way to do that and you can just plop things anywhere you want you just if you just um, you can pretty much just you can rotate things you can drag things to different locations if you have a whole bunch of stuff you can just put a whole bunch all over the place and then actually line it up so um, also, I was able to um, get my actual characters that I made in the demo. So those are the characters I'm going to be playing with from, from now on. And so you probably see that thumbnail with those characters. You might That's why it looks different. But I'm not going to change the first two videos. Those are, those are still going to stay the way they are. So um, I'm actually... Here's what I'm doing here. So... I'm actually creating a um, the same house that I built in The Sims 3, the very last one, the very last house that I built. Um, you should be able to find that. That's that is on there. Um, I realized that um, you can actually add. Well, this is cool. So like the the the, um, the roofs, you know, you, they're. I think it's a little bit easier to to work with. Like you can. I don't know, it just, it just seemed easier to me. And what's cool is you don't have to type any like special tricks like or, or, or cheats to get these things to work. Um, Just, you know, once you get the roof laid out, you can see what I did here. I actually was able to block out the, the or, you know, remove the room. But then I remembered, oh, I need a foundation. So did that first. And then I went through and... Um, remove the wall. So this is based basically kind of somewhat based off of what I made in Sims 3, but going to be a little bit more um, different. And I know it looks kind of like beige sand colored, um, but that's just the ref that's just the sun and the reflection off of like the rocks and the sand. So that's why it looks like that. It's actually white. So um, and there is no pool. So for right now, until they decide to, they want to um, fix that issue, I am just going to use a fountain. Unfortunately, I can't swim, so oh well. But um, this is just going to be the first part. Um, there is going to be another part to this um, where I actually kind of, where I'm actually going to have it to where I decorate, the house is going to be decorated, um, the characters will be there, and... Um, and yeah, so it'll all be ready to go, and we can start, you know, playing and figuring out all the other, all the different little things. Um, obviously, there was a little bit of a preview um, in the second video, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you check that out. And yeah, so this is I like the I like I like this a little bit. Um, just the um it flows better i wouldn't say it's necessarily more like there's more definition i'd say it seems to be about the same as the sims 3 um i just but it, it, there's probably more i'm sure i i, I can't really it, it it does look better i think um it feels better but some of the things are a little bit I mean, it's a little different and hard to figure out. Um, also, I was able to fix the camera to where I can, like, so as I'm moving the mouse around, I can use the middle mouse button or, like, you know, the scroll button, or I can, um, like, to click, I can rotate up and down. I can, so basically I was able to use the Sims 3 settings is what I'm trying to say. Um, so anyway, um, I'll show you how to do that later. But anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, please subscribe for more, like the video, and I'll see you guys in part two.